Hello, this is Adol. Welcome to the video lecture series on the course of building construction. This is the lecture number 9 on unit number 3. And this is the part 2 of the doors. In this video, we are going to cover the types of doors. That is panel doors, battened and edged doors and flush doors. Let's start our video lecture by the first type of door that is paneled door. These type of panel doors are most commonly used in the houses. The frame of the panel door is made up of wood or steel. The frame, the outer part, this is the frame. This one will, will be made up of wood or steel made up of wood or steel. These doors consist of styles, rails and mullions of uniform thickness which are framed together and panels are fixed within this space. So it consists of styles, this is styles, rails and mullion. So in this space, the remaining space, we will fix the panel. We will space the panel. Panel. So this door consists of style, rails, mullion, and the panels. The panels can also be made up of glass or wood. Glass or wood. These panels will be sometimes we will use glass. Glass means glass doors, we will use glass, otherwise, we will use wood. The vertical styles are continuous from top to bottom. The vertical, this is the vertical styles. So it will be continuous from the top to bottom. And the rails, this is the rails, top rail, cross rail, lock rail and bottom rail. These rails are connected to the styles. So styles is a continuous from top to bottom and rails are joined to the styles on on the inside of the styles on the inside of the styles and rails grooves are made to receive the panels so inside this is outside of the uh, outside on the inside this is the inside this is the inside inside we will have a groove so this groove why we are making this groove means to receive the panels to fix the panels between the styles and the uh, rails the mullions are joined to the rails so this is the mullions it will join to the rails bottom or intermediate so anywhere it will be joined to the rails only panels of generally provided for decorative purposes so these panels are provided for decorative purposes because we can use glass wood so or any other materials we can use to make it more decorative so the panels are generally provided for decorative purposes the number of panels or depends upon the size of the door and the nature of appearance it is deserved so the number of panels it depends upon size of the door and the nature of appearance they are fixed with bud hinges so the doors are fixed with uh, fixed with the bud hinges so what are the silent features of panel door the style of continuous from top to bottom that is they are a they are in single piece so come from top to bottom they will be in single piece various rails are joined various rails such as top rail uh, intermediate rail sometimes lock rail will come and bottom rail these are the various 
rails that are in, available in the door. These rails are joined to the styles at the both the ends. So the both the ends, the rails are jointed to the styles. So how these rails and styles are joined? The rails are uh, rails and uh, styles are joined by tenon and mortise joints. So this is how the tenon and mortise joints will look like. Mortise will have the uh, hollow hollow gap. The tenon will be the projection. So this hollow gap and the projection are in same size, so that it will tightly fix inside. The mullens or matins is if provided if you are providing mullens or matins in the door in the panel door they are joined to the adjacent rail between which is it fixed so it is joined between the adjacent rail so where it is going to fixed so if it is giving a mullen on the between the top and intermediate then the mullen or matin it will be joined between the top and the intermediate rail the bottom and the lock rails are made wider than top and frizzy rails so bottom and the lock rails are wider than the top and frizzy rail the entire frame is grooved on all the side of the faces to receive the panels so next additional timber beading so this is the timber beading timber beading is provided either on one or on both the sides to improve the elevation of the door so the look wise if you want to give the better look you may give the timber beading so here it is a timber beading so this is how we can give and improve the appearance of the door the lock rail elevation is so adjusted that its center line is at a height of about 800 mm from the bottom of the shutter. So the lock rail, if it is the bottom of the shutter, it is the bottom shutter, the lock, if you are giving a lock here, it should be about 800 mm. So you have to keep it in the 800 mm. The minimum width of style. So the minimum width of the style is kept as 100 mm. The minimum width of bottom rail and rock, uh, lock rail is 150 mm. So width of the style, minimum width is 100 mm and the bottom rail and rock rail is 150 mm. So if the panels are made up of timber, its minimum width should be 150 mm and the minimum thickness should be 15 mm. So if you are using a a timber panel its minimum which should be 150 mm and the thickness should be 15 mm however the maximum area of a single panel of timber should not be more than 0.5 meter square so the maximum area if it is a panel the maximum area should not be more than should not be more than 0.5 meter square these restrictions do not apply to panels of plywood, particle wood or hardwood. This is only applicable for the timbers, not for plywood or particle wood or hardwood. If you are using the panels by plywood, particle wood or hardwood, these restrictions, that is the minimum width of 150, thickness 15 mm or the single panel area of 0.5 meter square, these restrictions won't come for them. It only come for the timber. So this is the paneled door. The second type of door is battened and ledged doors. These batten and ledged doors are the simplest form of doors and are in use since ages. So from the olden days onwards, we are using this battened and ledged doors. So this is how the diagram shows the how the battened and ledge doors will look like. You can see these type of doors everywhere in this uh, in our country. 
so this uh, doors consist of vertical wooden battens so vertical so these are the vertical wooden battens with about 35 mm thickness and 10 to 15 cm wide so the wide it will be 10 to 15 cm and thickness is 35 mm so these those have in these kind of doors three ledges are used so ledges are nothing but the horizontal member so here the dotted ones these are the ledges top ledge middle ledge and the bottom ledge so the dotted this one are the ledges we will have a three ledges one is placed in top one is placed in bottom and one is placed in middle so that way top ledge middle ledge and the bottom ledge these doors are fixed with t inches these doors are fixed in t inches commonly these kind of doors are used in water closet bathrooms and also in houses where economical condition is low then we will go this batten and ledge doors third type of door is flush doors a flush door is a completely smooth door as shown in the diagram this is a completely smooth door it consists of framework of rails and styles and it will covered with the plywood so the outer one it will be covered with the plywood these doors are light in weight and nowadays they are extremely used in field of construction it is in two types one is hollow and cellular core flush door second one is solid core core flush door or laminated core flush door let's see them one by one hollow cellular core flush door this hall hollow and cellular floor flush flush door consists of styles rails horizontal ribs and vertical ribs and the plywood so it will have horizontal ribs as well as vertical ribs in this why we will call it as a hollow or cellular means there will be a hole kept in horizontal ribs for ventilation so there will be a hollow space uh, sorry uh, holes are kept in horizontal ribs for the ventilation and vertical ribs and vertical ribs rest on rails vertical ribs rest on rails the hollow space instead of being it uh, kept empty sometimes it will be filled with granulated cork or any light material so it will have a hollow space sometimes we will fill this with granulated crop or any other light material a lock block and hinge block is provided for fixing the door these doors are light in weight and cheap light in weight and cheap but these doors are weak when compared to the other type of door the second type of flush door is solid core flush door or laminated core flush door so it consists of style rails laminated core and plywood so this is the laminated core and plywood in the face we will have a plywood the laminated of wood are glued together with high pressure and plywood sheets on either side are also glued to the laminated core by great pressure so how we are going to fix it so the lamination the laminated core are glued together with a high pressure then we will place the plywood over the laminated core by a great pressure on the both sides we will cover it with the plywood 
plywood sheets they are heavy these type of doors are heavy and it is not necessary to provide hinge or lock blocks so in a hollow we will need the hinge and the lock blocks but in these type of doors we generally don't need that generally the thickness of both type of flush doors are 4.5 cm so the thickness of the both doors are 4.5 cm and these doors do not catch any dust and it is easy to clean and it is easy to clean these are the points should be maintained in manufacturing of flush doors the first point is timber which is which we are going to use for the production of flush doors should be properly seasoned and dry out second point is before we are gluing it together a proper termite proof treatment should be given to the all timber third point is it should be suitably heated and pressed in hot press so these are the points we have to maintain in the manufacturing of flush doors so in this video we saw the three types of doors that is panel doors batten and ledge doors and the flush doors under the panel doors we saw this what are the salient features of the panel doors and flush doors we saw the what are the types of flush doors thank you